Okay, great. Let's take this off. No, we're done going out. We're gonna be inside now. Okay, go on. Go on. Good morning. Yeah, just got done walking Grayson and oh golly, it was, it felt like a, a normal kind of morning in that I got to chat with a neighbor and his wife that were outside working on their yard. And Grayson had an opportunity to just sit there while we were talking and then to walk by nicely when we were done talking. Just washing my hands here. And yeah, yesterday we had rain. It's a nice sunny day now. And we've got, oh, We've got rainbow time now. Can you see those rainbows up there? And then we saw a family with... Here, Gray Gray, come here. You're such a good boy. We saw a family with um, their boxer, three little girls and the father with a boxer and the little girls asked, here, I'll let you look at Grayson a bit. The little girls asked if they could come and pet Grayson. And I said, yeah, you know, they could, but he might jump on them. And they said, that's okay. We have a dog. So I said, okay. And I got Grayson to sit. And the girls came over and they knew to hold their hand out so he could sniff. And then uh, they were able to pet him and he just loved it. And, you know, if you have a dog, a lot of people, they'll complain, oh, my dog pulls me and my dog jumps on people. And if you have followed me, you know, that Grayson used to pull me terribly. I mean, just about pull me down, didn't you, Grayson? Yes, but we worked on that. And one of the things that you can do is this, <laughs> here he is. He's just chilling out now. So one of the things that um, I learned to do is if he starts pulling, the second he starts pulling, we go the other direction. And I mean, even if I take one or two steps and he starts pulling again, we go the other direction. And sooner or later, he learned, and he does so well now, that we don't pull. And also, he learned that if I say, stop, he stops. And usually he'll sit, or I'll tell him to sit. Um, and you know how that happens? It happens by repetition. And that's the same way that you and I put habits into our lives, by repetition, right? So um, if you're looking to put healthy habits in your life, you need to be repeating them. And like with Grayson, He is, dogs really know how to relax, don't they? Oh, and he's got leaves stuck in him and all kinds of things. He's a very long dog. Anyway, just like with Grayson, getting up here. Yes, I'm talking about you. I am. So, just like with Grayson, we didn't do everything in one big step. We went step by step, little bitty steps, you know? Um, and as we made progress with a little step, then we added something to it until it's become second nature. And you know, it takes time, it takes and I'm talking about you too in your life. It takes making a decision. Okay, like this is how it works. Let's say you have a goal. 
let's say your goal is how about that you would like to eat healthier. That's a very big goal, you know? And I'll tell you, the way to do it is not to just, in one fell swoop, make yourself out a diet that's just all healthy food and get rid of all the unhealthy food. You know why that's not a way to do it? Because for most people, they're gonna fail. That's too much at once, it's just too much. You know, and most people get to a point the first day or within a few days or definitely within a few weeks and they go, oh, I can't stand this. They're feeling deprived all the time. And you don't wanna feel deprived, okay? So this is what you do. Maybe pick one food that's not healthy. Let's say that every day you have a bag of chips, all right? Um, maybe you eat a big bag of chips. So make a decision. Okay, I'm going to get the next size bag down. And for the next week, that's the size I'm going to eat. Now, you know, you may say, well, you're still eating chips. That's not healthy. You know what? You're slowly decreasing until finally you're just eating a little tiny bag. And then, how about replacing that with something that is healthy? You know, what could you eat that would be healthy? Maybe something like, I don't know, kale chips or carrots, I don't know, something crunchy. Um, even popcorn without butter something like that. So, you know, we cut back slowly, slowly, slowly on the unhealthy. And instead of leaving a hole, <coughs> what, uh, let me get a sip of water here, excuse me. Instead of just not replacing it with anything, we replace it with something healthy. Oh, hey, Mari. Hey, Kevin. Is it Mari? Mary? Mary? I don't know how to pronounce some of these names. Marie, maybe? <laughs> Kevin, I know how to pronounce. And hey, if you're watching, say something so I can greet you. Anyhow, <clears throat> now, you know, you can make those gradual changes in your life. There's also another way, which is, you know, I'm a health coach and the program that I coach what it does is it gives you a blueprint to follow. Um, I just had a new client start uh, yesterday, and I talked to her last night, and she said to me, I love this program. I only had to prepare one small meal, and oh my gosh, it was so much to eat, and the rest of the day, I had my little meal replacements that are healthy, they have a good balance of carbohydrate, fat, protein, low sodium, 24 vitamins and minerals, probiotics. They tasted so good. I, I was satisfied and full all day. And I live on my own. I don't like to have to prepare a lot of meals. So this was perfect. I made a simple meal. Um, I roasted a turkey breast, had seven ounces of that, and I had three servings of green vegetables. And it was wonderful. And, you know, she loved it because of the simplicity. But she's, you know, so my program gives you, it takes care of the food part. So you don't have to be constantly thinking about food, food, food. But also, she talks with me so I can give her support, answer questions. We have a Facebook page with people who are doing the same thing to help support you. And we have an educational program that you can work at your own pace that, you know, a lot of people characterize this plan as, well, first of all, it's not a diet. It's a lifelong transformation, a healthy lifestyle. But it's also, I would say it's 95% personal development and 5% diet, really. I mean, I have grown so much as a person on this program because the reason you eat, now animals eat to live. 
people, we live to eat, a lot of us. And if you look at my, <clears throat> some of my older pictures, you could look at the picture of me on Facebook, you know, the one in that circle um, on at the top of my page. And that shows three little pictures of me from my 50s and early 60s. And then it shows me today. And you'll see that I look better today than I did like almost 20 years ago, because I'm 69 now. And there's some pictures in there from my early 50s. And I don't look so good because I was living to eat, pretty much. And what this program has done for me is it's helped me to understand why I was eating and how to replace those misdirected things in my life with healthy things. Um, you know, like, do you eat because you're bored, because you're lonely, because you're excited, because it's just something to do, because you're anxious, depressed. I mean, people eat for so many different reasons, right? So, oh, hey, Tamara, thanks for watching. So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you that you can make changes in your life slowly. That's perfectly fine, as long as you're going in a good direction, right? Or if you need a little jump start so you can start taking off weight, feeling better, having a, a sense of well-being, and actually becoming healthier because you're getting rid of the extra weight, making progress a little more rapidly, and working on the six inches between your ears that is the most important part to change if you want to take off weight and get healthier. So if you want to make progress with those a little more quickly, get in touch with me. I've done it. Oh, hey, good morning, Karen. So I've been able to maintain my weight loss now and my good health for about three years, almost three years. And um, yes, in January and February, if you've been following me, you know that I put on some weight because I was battling with some illness and it was very difficult and it felt physically, you know, it eased the problems I was having with my throat if I was eating. But I've been working on taking off that extra weight and you can see it's working. I feel good. I'm full of energy, which is something that when you go on my program, you won't be hungry and you'll have lots of energy. And by the way, if you're one of my clients or if you are a client of my program and you've experienced this, please put a comment down. Anyhow, so, you know, oh, you know that ad where the guy says, I'm not just the president of the program, I'm a client or something like that. So I'm not just a certified health coach. I'm also a client because the program has given me the tools to learn how to change. Now, <clears throat> why did I gain weight while I was sick? You know what? I had over 60 years of building unhealthy habits and putting on weight. So I, you can't take care of every problem like that. You know, it takes time. There are still issues that I have not dealt with in my life. So I'm still working on them. But I've dealt with some of the big main issues, which is what allows me, you know, to still be wearing size eight pants and a small top. Now I was in a size six. So, you know, you may look at me and say, oh, you know, I wish that I could wear those clothes. I don't know, maybe you do. Um, I wish I could get back into my size sixes and I'm headed that way. I am working on it. Now, is it like this, a steady path? No, it's just like everything in life. It's a crazy path, but it's not quite so crazy with my weight loss because this is, if you follow the program, 
it's guaranteed, you know? I mean, it absolutely works 100% if you follow it. So I may be a little bit, but I'm not like this, okay? Um, so I'm making good progress. And, you know, I've coached so many people and it works for them like I was telling you, my client who started yesterday, already she feels better. She's just thrilled and it's so simple. Anyway, so I figured I would just mention that because, you know, we we're talking about Grayson and how building habits for him is one little step at a time. And we build step upon step. But we've got to start somewhere, right? And starting, you've got to make a decision. You've got to know where you want to go. Make a decision you're going to do something about it. Decide what steps you're going to take. And then what little steps will help you to get to each little step that eventually will lead you to your goal. And that's something I help people with every day. I'd love to help you too. I'm helping me by using that same approach. Okay, well, I gotta get ready for church here. I'll talk to you later.